Hello and welcome everyone to Coach's Corner, our weekly coaches segment where we sit down with Trevor Gorman, the head men's soccer coach here at the University of Albany. Coach, uh, let's dive right in here. Uh, conference schedule started. You, you, you started off, well, two games back, tying uh, to St. Francis, Brooklyn, and then getting a big win against Vermont, 2-1. to one. Uh, what, what are your takeaways from those games specifically against UVM? Well, I think, first of all, all the support staff wanted to thank me for not going to overtime <laughs> after the Vermont game. There were a lot of relieved people that day with the track record that we had going on. But, no, it was really good to get a win against Vermont at home, conference opener to start off with three points, now puts us in a good position in the league. More of the same on Tuesday night against St. Francis. I felt we were the better team. I felt we had more of the territory. We just we still weren't able to get things going. So. We've always said you needed that first goal to go in, and, and it happened for us on Saturday. Keith Trout, typically it wasn't a pretty goal. It was a deflected goal, but sometimes you just need to see the ball hit the net. We saw that happen, and it kind of propelled us to a good victory from there. Are you hoping the 2-1 victory for Vermont sort of kickstarts your offense a little bit and, and, and getting propelled in the right direction or through the rest of your schedule? Oh, of course. I mean, we hope that the, the success from there now carries on into the upcoming games. Hopefully we get that taste of winning, we get that feel, and each game's its own entity. Each game's a battle, especially in conference play. Every team in our league is capable of beating any of the other teams, so we know that looking ahead to next Saturday when we have UMass Lowell on the road, they're going to be a desperate team now looking for their first conference win, their home opener, and everything that we do has to be preparing for that. I want to ask you about your goalkeeper, Tim Allen, uh, America East Player of the Week. He's got the highest save percentage in the conference. Speak to the way he's playing right now. Well, Tim's just a tremendous leader for us. He's one of the most mature, responsible players I've ever been around. His preparation on and off the field is second to none. And we've known he was a good goalkeeper for a long time. Last year, unfortunately, he missed the second half of the season with, with an ankle injury. He's been fully healthy this year, playing really well. And we feel like he almost should have gotten recognition earlier, and we let him down with, with some of the late goals that we gave up, some of the overtime goals. You take those out, and his goals against average would be through the roof. So he's playing well. He's a consistent presence for us back there, and I was happy to see him get recognized this week. All right, uh, coming up on the schedule, you do have Syracuse, a, a top 10 team in Division One soccer, followed by UMass Lowell. Uh, what is your overall uh, approach to that Syracuse game? What, do you, what, what are some of the things you're looking to get out of that? Well, Syracuse is a total opportunity game. It's exciting. You, you live for this. You want to play teams that are ranked nationally, and you want to have the chance to test yourselves against them. And I'm happy they've done so well. They do a phenomenal job over there. They've really built the last three, four years. And so now we get a chance to go over and to play them in a great environment. And it's a chance for our players to really show themselves and to play. So we're going in with a great attitude towards that. And then we flip it around on Saturday and play that second league game against UMass Lowell. And that takes on its own importance because a positive result in that gets us, gets us points after two games, gets us up near the top of the league, and really can give you momentum heading down the stretch. And you talk about down the stretch, uh, if you were to say evaluate your team, you're about just a little bit over halfway uh, through your schedule, which is hard to believe. Um, but if you're going to improve upon one thing that your club right now, what would it be here to finish out the schedule? Well, we just want to keep getting better in the attacking third of the field. I think that's the goal of every team throughout a season is you have to find ways to be dangerous, to score goals. You have to have movement. You have to have consistency. And as a year goes on, you play opponents that are more and more familiar with you. They scout you and they prepare to take away what it is that you do best. So the good teams have to keep evolving and have to keep finding ways to have success and change things up. So that's always the biggest challenge. That's what we spend the most time working on. And hopefully it pays off. Coach, good luck this week. Great, thank you. All right, that'll do it for this week's edition of Coach's Corner. Uh, as always, you can check us out next week where Coach and I will sit down and we'll recap the Syracuse game and the Lowell game as well and then look ahead to the rest of the home stretch of the American East schedule. For Coach Gorman, I'm Zach Bai. We'll see you next time.